Troy Public Schools was trying to wiggle off the hook in this case, but a federal judge ruled today they can't. We've won on two of the major allegations in our complaint. Attorney Bill Sykley represents the former DPS student who met Pew through his Charles Pew Leadership Forum, a mentorship program here at Frederick Douglass Academy. In his lawsuit, the young man alleges that Pew sexually pursued him, lavishing him with cash and gifts so he could later pressure the young man into taking sexually explicit videos. He also alleges that Pew inappropriately touched him in a store parking lot. In his lawsuit, the former student claims the DPS failed to protect him from Pew's advances and inappropriate conduct. DPS has denied that and asked those claims to be dismissed. In the judge's ruling, Lawson saw merit in some of the students' arguments, allowing civil rights and Title IX claims against the district and district officials to stand. However, he dismissed claims alleging that the district violated the young man's constitutional rights in failing to protect him. Instead of taking issue with the judge, attorney Bill Sykley faults the way the law is currently written. Despite the fact that they have to attend school, despite the fact that they uh, may not have any choices about it, they have more protection in prison than uh, we do for students in our schools. The depositions in this case have all been sealed, but we do know that some school board members have testified that they alerted district bosses about concerns they had over Pew's past conduct, including allegations of harassing school-aged boys. Today, Judge Lawson took the district to task, saying warnings that a teacher is prone to inappropriate attractions to students should have set off alarm bells. The conduct of the administrators charged with the care and education of young men is baffling. In a statement, a DPS spokeswoman says the district is pleased some of the claims against them were dismissed. They declined to comment on the claims that were not. So what will happen next? Uh, still a few more opportunities for the district and others to try to get some of these uh, allegations tossed out of court. Assuming that does not happen, this is eventually going to go to trial. All right. Thank you so much, Ross.